Now, the current tensions uh, in the EC caused by China's placing of an ARIC in Vietnamese territorial waters has sparked controversy in the international community. In the following interview, VTV's Viet Hong spoke to Dr. Patrick Cronin, expert on Asia-Pacific security and U.S. military issues to discuss Chinese strategy and its unilateral policy in the EC. Thank you very much uh, for the interview today. So the first question is, um, talking about the, the action of uh, China placement of the oil rich in the South China Sea, what can you say about China's strategy in the South China Sea? It is so difficult to give you a short answer as to Chinese strategy, but I think that the oil rig placement from the Chinese perspective was a very deliberate act, and in that very deliberate decision that the Chinese leadership made, they calculated that they could wither any criticism, because most of the criticism amounts to words. So we are speaking in adjectives, and China is speaking in verbs. We have to figure out how to do things and not just say things to make sure that we impose a cost on this. And when we do that, then it will be a true miscalculation on the part of China. Why do you think the U.S. this time is so vocal against China? For the first time in a public forum, at the defense minister or deputy minister level, we've seen China and the United States openly criticizing one another. And we've seen this developing for some years now, the last five years perhaps, Chinese growing assertiveness in the South and East China Seas. And for the United States, we've seen a hardening of the position since last November, I think after the Chinese declared their air defense identification zone in East China Sea. And at least from January through the Shangri-La Dialogue, we've seen one senior official after another from the Obama administration be more forceful in the diplomacy, more forceful in the language they've used, because they're trying to do two things. They're trying to reassure allies and partners in the region that the United States is serious about preserving, adapting, and building a rules-based system for everybody's benefit. Uh, and at the same time, they're trying to send a signal to China that we will not accept uh, unilateral changes to the status quo through force or coercion. And so Secretary Hegel was more forceful in his language, talking about Chinese destabilizing acts, but he's been preceded by State Department and White House officials in the last few months talking about the need for the United States to be more active in ensuring the stability and peace in the South China Sea and in the region, uh, and uh, not taking sides on sovereignty issues, but taking sides on bad behavior and good behavior. And that's what the U.S. is doing. What are the recommendations that you have for Vietnam and also the regional community to act to force China to ab abide by the international law? Um, I think that there are a number of ways that this can be done, and that Vietnam can expand its cooperation with other countries in the region, including Japan and India, but also Malaysia, Philippines, and others, Australia. Uh, and by doing so, can send a signal to China that there is a cost to be paid for unilateral action, and there's also a reward to be had for figuring out um, other ways of cooperating with your uh, neighbors. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you very much for watching, and you can always rewatch our program and get other updates simply by logging on to vtv4.vn. Thank you and goodbye.